Hello, it's Sarah. And this morning, I've been playing with this wire. I shared this in my um, haul, I'm pretty sure. It's the Soft Touch, Soft Touch Fun Wire. And I got this from Walmart. Um, I guess the brand is Fun Wire. Yeah, Fun Wire. Oh, Toner Plastics or whatever. Regardless, the reason I got it is because I saw a video. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, Sandy Huntress. And that's who I was referring to the other day when I said Beta Hall Leak. But she does um, a series called Friday Findings. Every Friday she puts a video up um, where she uses some type of a finding. And she's used jump rings. She's used, she did a little video on um, some flower earrings, those acrylic flowers that I want to try too. But um, she was using wire and she mentioned that it's soft touch. And I didn't have any soft touch. I have this wire on the spool. I have a bunch of different colors, but I never um, knew, I didn't know if, about soft touch, but this is really soft. Like, you really don't need tools, basically. I mean, I definitely, I made my um, rounded letters with my hands, but I did use, um, these are called round nose pliers. Yeah, these are called round nose pliers. This is like a bigger pair. There's a bigger, um, diameter on the um, rounded part. And then I have my uh, flush cutters and just some pliers, some needle nose pliers to just kind of pull it if you need to. But for what I did, honestly, you could, well, I would say you do need the, just the round nose pliers because like when, say you make an L, you just need to kind of hold it and pull the wire down. So that gets you, you know, that nice top that you want to get. So um, go to, I'm going to put the, the um, description, I'm um, sorry, the link in the description box for the, her video. She also stamps the, the, okay, so let me show you what I did. So oh, I wanted to mention too, this is a template that I downloaded from a blog. I just put in wire words. I don't remember. It says Cheryl style, but you don't need this because just get a piece of paper and Sandy shows you. Just write your words out however you want. All I got from this was love and a heart. There's two things on here. That's that's like, you know, I don't know. It was free, which is fine. Um, but you can just write your own words. Write whatever you want to have a template for to make the word or a shape or whatever you want to do on paper. And then use that as your guideline. So I'm going to, um, like I said, put the link to Sandy's video. But there are lots of others. Um, th these hearts actually came from another video, and I don't remember her name. I watched it last night when I was in bed, um, so I don't remember. Um, I didn't write anything down. But let me just show you what I did. Um, Sandy did hammer hers, I was about to say, and I ha tried hammering. Um, I don't have the tools that she had, and it didn't seem to work. I don't even think this... Um, wire is the same type of wire that she used. It's a soft touch, but I think it's like, it feels like it must be wrapped in plastic or something. I'm not sure what type of material it is, but it it's, I don't know, it's soft. <laughs> um, so I did hammer a few of them. And like I said, I don't think it worked. She was using like um, a steel, I wanna say steel, some type of an anvil, you know, and a hammer, like a flat hammer, and I just used my husband's hammer, and I hammered on a tile, <laughs> and, you know, I mean, I was, didn't want to break the tile and stuff, so, but I think, I think this worked, like one here, it gives it a stiffness, like when you hammer it, and it also flattens it out, so it's something that I've always wanted to try working with metal, um, oh my gosh, I saw the cutest thing, oh, anyway, but that's for another video, um, so let me show you what I did. So silver I used first, and I did, I think love was the first word I did. I'm going to zoom in. Maybe I'll zoom in so you can see. This might be hard to, there you go. You can see pretty good. And um, play, I did not hammer. So you can kind of see this is much flatter. It's laying flatter, and this is um, not, you know, because I, I made this last play because I wanted to use it for something in silver. <clears throat> so I think it gives it like a stiffness, um, like I didn't hammer this gold, hello, and it's just, you can tell it's a lot more, it's not as flat. Um, then I, I love this color, this color is like a pink gold. Are you leaving Matt? 
Oh, okay. And um, I hammered, I think I did hammer all of these. Maybe not the hello. I don't think I hammered the hello. Like I made, I went back and made a few more after. But you can kind of tell, I think I would like to hammer them. Um, and get like a little bit better with that. But I mean, I think they turned out fantastic. I'm, this is my first time ever doing it. You can't go wrong. Like, I mean, look, dream, the only thing on here is this part of the M came down too low. So you really want to try and just start your letters all on the same um, line, you know, the baseline, I think they called it in the videos. And make sure your letters stay on the same level at the top too, you know. So, I mean, not bad for a beginner, right? But I love this pink color. Then, like I said, you have the gold. This is uh, more of the pink. I hammered that. Hope, dream, play, hello. Oh, this is the other color. It's like a bronze. So I did joy with that. And another hello. And you could, like, see this has a little um, tail on it. And I think I'll show you how I do that while I'm thinking of it. But you just take your little um, round nose plier. Sorry, I'm trying to work around this. And I just do it as a little added accent too. But the hello with the O, you know how O's have that little tail? I can actually pull that down a little. Put it down, sorry, I'm zoomed in. So, but I did that on most of them. I just kind of like this Y, I made like a um, not cursive Y. And this Y, I did like a cursive Y. You know what I'm saying? Printing cursive. But I made the J like a, a cursive J. So, you know, really, really cute. Um, fun. Just, I mean, I did this in like an hour. I did all these. It was not, not hard at all. And I mean, I think for embellishments, they're awesome. I could even put this in clay maybe. These little swirlies, these were just um, <clears throat> little scraps that I had. And I just was seeing if I could make a little swirly. Because that's a technique that people do on um, jewelry making and stuff. Um, I haven't worked with wire a lot. I've worked with beads more, not as much wire or metal. And I would love to take a class on metal working and stuff like that. Um, just why not? I, you know, I love to make things. But this was so easy, guys. So even if you have a Walmart near you, you could look for this soft touch wire, but I mean, I know they'd have it online probably or whatever, but um, you don't need anything. Like I said, all you need is a round nose plier. Pretty much that's all you need, and a cutter. You need a cutter. And I think this has a cutter in it. Yeah, this has a cutter right in it, so you just need this. All right, I think I'm going to walk my dog. She's bugging me. All right, you guys, thanks for watching.